As I am preparing for a relaxing holiday weekend, I'm planning to kick my feet up a bit and spend some time reading. Saving the World with the Home Garden, I was just released, written by Ivy Organics founder and biologist Charles Malky, and today I'm going to review it. Let's go. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day now. Welcome back to Growing in the City. If this is the first time you're seeing us, uh, we discuss organic gardening tips, provide in-depth tutorials on gardening topics such as uh, you know, growing microgreens, for example, and provide other uh, informational content to help you have a more successful growing season. For more videos like this, subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be informed of when new content releases. Saving the World with a Home Garden summarizes some of Ivy Organic's most viewed YouTube videos. They currently have over 300 videos with over 8 million views. For example, in Chapter 2, Charles discusses the reality that you should expect your organic garden to have some pests. Pest control should be used sparingly, as most pest control methods, even organic ones, will harm beneficial insects in the same way as the pests you're likely targeting. Be especially cautious to native plants, as they're home to native insects, which naturally prey upon the pests in your garden. For example, California oaks grown in California can feed thousands of beneficial insects and animals. I do have a video showing how you can organically keep slugs off your lettuces and other fruits and vegetable plants, and you can find that at the video shown above. In chapter seven, saving the world with the home garden also discusses pruning and why you shouldn't only prune between the last frost and spring bloom. Summer pruning helps maintain the plant at a desirable size and encourages a second growth before fall. It's important to remember that if you see any dead branches, prune them as soon as possible, if not immediately. Dead branches are entryways for ants, beetles, termites, and other pests. To see how to organically protect your fruit trees from sunburn and pests uh, that could burrow within them and cause disease, click the video shown above uh, where I describe how to do that. All right, so I did really enjoy reading this book and I do recommend it. Um, it was quick and easy to digest. And Charles talks a lot about some topics that are really pretty interesting, like cloning your trees. Um, I have included a link in the description um, below, as well as a link to the IV Organics uh, YouTube channel. If you have read this book, uh, you know, already right off the presses too, uh, please, you know, share your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear what you thought about it. If you're reading something else uh, that's inspiring you, you know, please do the same. Uh, you know, please share with us. I'd love to, to hear what's interesting to you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.